What's up traders? Julian here from JLewisTrading.com doing a quick market review today for the 3rd of December. So SPY looking kind of bullish as of late. We're getting some higher lows and we're sort of creating a really, really wide looking ascending triangle with a somewhat lead in bear trend uh, right through here as of late. Um, looking to push some highs right through here. Very, very interesting with the SPY today. We had a gap up day. The gap was held to the upside. There was a partial fill, but nonetheless, there was a gap up on the SPY and on the S&P 500. And uh, we gapped up above two levels of moving average resistance, both at 200 and the 50 day. And we're looking pretty bullish as of right now. Now we've got two days, Friday and Monday today, um, trading on bullish volume, but the volume a little bit lower than average. What does that mean? Don't know what to tell you, but I'll tell you this. Price action is definitely moving to the upside. You can see that as of this last pivot low, uh, we've actually successfully flagged through and as of today, broken out of a flag through a whole bunch of moving average resistance. And now we're sort of hitting this level of resistance right through here, this flat top, if you will, that was set at that last pivot high when it turned around uh, back in early November. So price action over the last couple sessions, really about a week and a half now, has been wanting to move higher. And I've been saying that price action will uh, start to move bullishly once those MAs get taken out. And the real uh, short-term target right now on the SPY is that 293 level. Once we get above um, this flat top right through here, this is going to be the run. We're going to see a lot of movement and potentially a lot of volume taking price action higher and coming out of this you know, short-term correction uh, situation that we were in uh, with the SPY. So very, very interesting. I'm, you know, directionally neutral. I'm not long. I'm not short. Just that the market gives me an opportunity uh, based on what I do specifically, I'm going to take it. And a primary example of that uh, was Apple. So Apple was something that I was watching pre-market as I always do. I was looking for this thing to uh, give me a nice setup. And uh, I did get something that was relatively nice right out of the gate, but I wasn't, um, I didn't get the follow through that I was looking through on Apple. I'll show you what I did do and what I was looking for. Now you can see right through here that there was actually a really big gap up on the, um, on Apple this morning. So there is the gap up um, level. Here is the full gap right through here. Friday's closed. And you can see that we've got this really nice wide range, 184 over 178. And so what I was looking is at this trend line, uh, or sorry, this horizontal level of support right through here, um, pre-market was holding uh, relatively well. We did dip below that when the cash market opened. And what I was actually looking to do uh, was to fire off a, uh, a trade using put taking out this 183.80 level. Now, uh, moved a bit quick, missed it, and uh, what I had to do is actually had to get back into this thing and um, focus a little bit more. And I actually ended up taking a trade on this, not using my uh, my general strategy, but sort of a pseudo um, pseudo build on my uh, my strategy, if you will. And uh, what you'll see right through here is that uh, price action was. Uh, pulling back pretty hard and I thought we were actually going to work towards a gap fill which would have been incredible for the puts the puts that I was looking at had it filled its gap they would have been up about uh, three and a half to four and a half points it would have been an excellent play uh, you can see that we had this sort of turnaround uh, situation right through here in price action gets through that moving average or all those moving average uh, resistance levels and we had a nice turn on the MACD histogram what happened over through here is that we actually took the VWAP out and you can see that we were given this nice shooting star sort of pin bar reversal right through here uh, back down to the 20 day moving uh, average. We had that level of support. It rallied up and this was actually the area where I was looking to uh, to get short right through here on this breakdown. And you can see right through here. Boom. I actually rode this thing down uh, for a little bit. Not a huge trade, but it wasn't bad. I will be honest. Uh, I think I was looking at about one, it was about 158 is where I got in with the puts. And by the time I was letting them go, they were around 190. Uh, so I didn't hold them as long as I could have, but I did do okay on those. Uh, that was the Apple trade. And again, nothing crazy. That's just all we did today. Have any questions? I'm at info at jlewistrading.com. Um, also, side note, we're going to be hosting a really big webinar. Uh, we're already starting to fill up spots. It's going to be hosted on December 19th. Please save the date. And if you want to get involved, it is 100% free. There is a link below, registration um, webinar link below. Click it. Send your email. I'll send you an invite. And uh, like I said, seats are now limited. But if you want to get involved and join us in this live webinar, 
we are going to be touching on the subject of things you need to survive uh, the financial markets. If you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter, <clears throat> by all means, hit that link below. But if you are following me on Instagram and Twitter, you will see that on both uh, media platforms that I've been promoting this webinar, it's going to be massive. We just finished one. I've posted the, um, the recording for why trading isn't working for you. And it's triggered me to uh, follow through and do this next webinar. So if you're not already involved or registered, click the link below. Get registered. See me on the 19th. I'll be sending out reminders and I will send you out a personalized link. If you have any questions, I'm at info at jlustrading.com.